Hey, what up, YouTube friends and family? Welcome back to the channel. AZ Triumpster here. Well, um, as promised, I'm at uh, Arrowhead Harley Davidson in Peoria, about to start uh, demo days here. So I heard they're gonna have a Lowrider S, a Heritage, um, gosh, a Slim, a bunch of stuff. I already see the Street Bob out here. But the uh, the idea here is to ride as many bikes as I can, share as much feedback as I can. And uh, if I'm lucky enough, and there's some other folks out here that are demoing that are willing to uh, give me their feedback, uh, I'll include that as well. But if the footage uh, and the content gets to be too long, I'll probably split it up into two videos and do my feedback and then uh, other folks' feedback. So let's get started. All right, guys, so I just got registered. And uh, since I was the first one here, I, uh, I got dibs. So guess what I'm taking out? Lowrider S, um, hence the reason why my helmet's on it. So my buddy's uh, Anthony here and uh, Andre right there in front of him. Uh, Anthony is taking out, what are you taking out Anthony? Sportster. Sportster. Andre is taking out the Slim. So we'll get some feedback from uh, Andre on the Slim. I don't think he's ridden one before. So here we go. All right, guys, so we just got done with our first run. Um, I took out the Lowrider S. And by the way, these are all 2020 bikes, if I haven't said yet. Anthony, what did you ride? Sportster 1200. Iron okay. 1200. And uh, Andre? I rode the Softail Slam right here. In the uh, Billiard Burgundy. Right on. Okay, so me first. I'm just going to run through it. Um, the 114, you absolutely feel the power in the low end. Uh, I assume you'd feel it more in the, high, in the top end if it didn't have stock mufflers restricting it. Uh, foot position is great. Handling is phenomenal. Stock bars need to go ASAP. If you're getting this bike, that's like the first thing you're going to want to do. So, Anthony, I know you've had the Iron 1200, uh, but let's hear it. I love it, but in comparison now, riding the Street Bob for so long, it's a lot smaller. And even for a small guy like me, it's much smaller. Okay. Um, but it's still a fun bike. But cool. similar to what you said, stock bars immediately. Okay. Get rid of them. All right. I guess this is after we've been... Uh, spoiled by Dean Speed Custom Spars, huh? Yeah. All right, Andre, why don't you tell us what you're currently riding, what you rode in on today? Uh, I'm currently on a 2016 Scout 60 with a couple mods from Dean Speed on it. Um, compared to the Slim, you can definitely feel the difference in the power band, you know, almost double the motor there, um, but definitely controllable. I would probably bring these bars uh, a little bit higher because they're a beach bar a little low for me um, and then something with the foot controls a little far forward but okay other than that a uh, comfortable ride um, nothing to complain about there all right uh, cool man position for yeah me is it. all right well I'll, I'll have you take mine out here in a minute uh, when we get a break and uh, you can then experience it with better bars and uh, better sure. seat and whatnot. cool all right thanks guys well uh, looks like Andre's about to demo the 2020 Street Bob and Anthony's going to take out that Lowrider S, so we're going to hear from those guys in a minute. Uh, Anthony and Andre just got back from their most recent demo, and uh, let's start with Andre here. What did you take out, man? Uh, I took out this bike right behind us here, uh, Street Bob, I believe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you think? Um, definitely digging the mid controls. Gives it a lot of control over uh, braking and uh, clutch and everything. The bars um, were pretty comfortable. Um, I would maybe rotate them back a little bit, but that's just my taste. Um, power definitely there. Seats nice and comfy. Um, I, uh, I think it's an overall good bike for you know somebody that's just starting. Yeah. Um, but even know, though it's eighteen hundred, almost eighteen hundred. A seasoned rider would have just as much fun on it. Okay. So, All right. Well, fun. let's get this guy over here. All right, what did we take out? I took out the Lowrider S. Okay, what do we think? I liked it other than two things. Handlebars are a little too low, so you feel like clamshelled. Even for a shorter guy, they need to be a little either taller, brought back a little more, and I don't like the gauge placement at all. You gotta look to straight, look straight down. down. Yeah, I was other than that, thinking that too. it kicks ass. Okay. Um, yeah. Cool, man. Awesome. Well, you guys heard it here. Uh, we're going to take out some more bikes. All right, man. So, uh... Just got back from taking my Slim out with the uh, different bars and the Street Bob seat and the mufflers. So comparatively, what do you now that you've ridden a Slim that's got a little more stuff catered to you on it, what do you think of the Slim, just as a general statement? Um, 
definitely a way better riding experience on your bike being then custom tailored uh, with basically the improvements that I would suggest um, bars um, the seat is a lot better um, but it's definitely a lot uh, more comfortable than the stock configuration um, took it on the freeway for a little bit it gets up to speed just fine and holds it there um, big floorboards make it nice and comfortable too uh, as opposed to a peg um, that I'm used to uh, using on my uh, Scout 60 um, but overall a comfortable bike um, I like it a lot right on man all right well I'm glad you enjoyed it all right here it is the uh, heritage I'll be taking out here in just a second I'm really interested to see how a windshield affects the uh, the ride and I mean this is a pretty cushy seat too so we'll have to see what happens how it all goes but uh, like I said excited so here we go all right guys so we just got back uh, Andre and I uh, he took out the lowrider s I took out the uh, heritage classic so let's start with you Andre what do you think about the uh, lowrider s both just as a bike in and of itself but comparatively to what else you've ridden um, okay, so the controls are a little more aggressive. They're kind of a mid, um, so more bend in the knee, a little bit higher. Um, it does help for aggressive riding, um, just because the handling with that kind of riding position uh, offers a little more control. Um, the seat was comfortable. Um, I just felt the brake pedal could have been lifted up a little higher. It felt lower than the shift lever um, was my only complaint. Um, they just didn't feel there at the same point. I was reaching a little far down to get that uh, rear brake engaged. Okay. Um, other than that, um, pretty comfortable. The bars uh, had nothing to really complain about that. Um, uh, yep. Other than that, pretty nice. Cool, man. Alright, guys. So, I'm home after uh, doing all those demos and I uh, figured it was better because there was a lot of noise and distraction. I wanted to get uh, get down with some details about the Heritage Classic that I rode because I really, really enjoyed that demo. Um, so, give you some comparisons. I felt like it handled better than the Lowrider S. Um, I felt like it was a more comfortable riding position, not stopped position, but riding position than my slim. Um, the windshield wasn't the perfect height. It could have been either shorter or taller and probably would have been a better fit for me just because I'm short. I was getting a lot of buffeting, so just kind of knocking my helmet around at above 40 miles an hour. I didn't really get to use the hard bags, but I assume they're very, very convenient. And the stock bars are actually pretty decent with that layout. So, um, why do I think it handles better than the Lowrider S? Well, it has a narrower rear wheel. So that probably attributes to some uh, low speed in town handling um, confidence. Additionally, the seat on the Heritage is the same position roughly front to back as it is on the Street Bob seat that's on my Slim. However, it's taller. So it relaxes your legs a little bit, bends them a little bit more like a mid, and um, it's very, very comfortable. Not just the riding position, but the seat itself is very thick and cushy seat. Um, that bike is seemed to be somewhat of a, how should I put it, uh, thoughtless. <laughs> In the way that you don't really have to overanalyze what you're doing, you almost just it happens so naturally on that bike. It's very smooth, very comfortable. Uh, I really enjoyed that demo. Aesthetically, curb appeal. I think my Slim is a much more attractive motorcycle. If uh, I think I may do a quick detach windshield on that Slim. Um, and maybe look at some different seats. I don't know. But uh, that Heritage Classic was a, was a phenomenal demo. I'd recommend it to anyone. But... That wraps up demo day. I hope you guys enjoyed the feedback that you got from me and my friends. Um, if you have any questions, just shoot them on over on the comments section. I'll answer them right quick. And uh, while you're doing that, hit the subscribe button, like the video. Um, and as always, guys, stay safe out there.